Hey guys, Clavo here, and I'm back today with another video. Now, you may be wondering why it's been so long since the last one. That is because my computer, the computer's motherboard, fried, so I had to get, uh, not get, but I had to use, I'm using a laptop now uh, on it, like being streamed onto a screen, so uh, I may be, there may be a little more lag and stuff in the recording process. I don't know if I'll get back to streaming. It may take me a, another week or so to get that set up. Things are really busy. Uh, with finals and all, and I just can't take the time to go and set that up. But I will try to uh, keep videos going. So I wanted to share with something a little bit more complicated and special uh, that I've been working on recently that I'm kind of proud of. Um, that is a mini project kind of thing, but also something you can use once it's done. Uh, but this is basically, I'm adding the trick functions into the game. I could have, I was going to do a video on how to use, um, like something a lot more simpler, which is like how to use a, um, well, whatever. It's the, ne the next video will be a simpler tutorial video. Uh, but for today, we're going over something a little more complex because I felt like it's been two weeks. Might as well show you something kind of cool. I had a really nice video planned out that I recorded, but it's on the old computer. So it's on the old hard drive, which is not lost. I just have to get it. Also, if you're wondering what's up with the RPG server, that is on the old hard drive, the backup. So I'm going to have to wait till I'm able to extract those files. Uh, it really kind of sucks. But anyway, uh, the new 1.12 update is pretty cool. Slash function, pretty sweet, pretty swaggin. So I decided to make some things, and I'm going to be making a special thing for everybody that can download it once it's done. And it's going to be trig functions, so you can get sine, cosine, tangent. I might add in arc sine, arc cosine, arc tangent as well, because that could be useful if you're a more advanced command blocker. Uh, if you're normal level, then it's important for... Um, this stuff is important for if you're using any of my later things that use it, uh, because I am. I needed to make a sign so that I could create ray casting in the Y direction, which a lot of people have been asking. Um, so this video is really important to understanding how ray casting in the Y direction happens, um, because you can't use boats. If you are familiar with my ray casting with boats videos, you can't use boats to go in the Y direction. They only go X and Z direction. I mean, I guess you can make them go in the Y direction a little bit, but this is to get the most accurate Y direction. You have to use these measurements and whatnot. Uh, so that's what this is for. I also created a get fee function, which is go get theta and get fee, which is get gives you this on a scoreboard, but I'll go over that in a later video. Today, we're just going over sign because it's kind of long. The one I used for this is called the Bas Bas Baskara's sign approximation. Uh, it's an equation that uh, basically gets you close to sign without using um, anything too complicated, just basic algebra. So you want to be able to use basic algebra with scoreboard operations. And I'll go over what each one of these is kind of doing, but I'm going to go over in general first off so I don't lose any of you that aren't as uh, aren't as command inclined. So what you have to do is do scoreboard player set at P sign and whatever angle you want to do so. Uh, the sine of 90 is a popular one. You know that the sine of 90 is going to equal 1. When I click this button, it will give me 1,000. The reason why I did 1,000 is to make it really accurate uh, with decimals. So it's going to give you uh, four decimals up to one number, whole number, and three decimal places, which is pretty good. Um, if you're using a system that is like teleporting based on what this answer is, just make sure you're doing divided by a thousand um, because a lot of the sine function is going to give you numbers that aren't whole integers like two, three, four, five, six. It'll give you like 0 0.79, 0 0.86. So that's why we have it in the three decimal places. So now we'll do some stranger ones. Sine of 45 is going is supposed to be 0 0.707. This function will give you 0 0.705. Uh, I'm just dividing this by a thousand in my head. It gives you 705, but divided by a thousand is 0 0.705. Uh, if I give myself the sine of 30, thir sine of 30 is supposed to be uh, one half, which this one will give you 0.5. Uh, which is one half. So it's really good. This is a really good approximation. I had another thing here for sine and cosine uh, using a different coding approximation, but it wasn't as good as this one. And it's actually longer than this one, I believe. Yes, it is. Uh, so this one is the best one I could find. It's the Bascara's sine approximation. Really good. So the, um, I guess let's, we'll just go over one more thing. So I guess now if you wanted to, and you had some math projects, you can just, you know, if you had some math homework, just come into Minecraft and type in, there you go, there's your calculator right there. That's the sign of negative 30. Okay, my point of showing you the negatives is it works for everything. So if I put it at 270, um, 
let me put it at something that makes more sense. Sine of one, I did it practical for Minecraft. So it goes, if you have a big circle here, it will be the sine, like you have to put in numbers from zero to 180 or negative one to negative 180, which will be the other half of the circle. Uh, I'm pretty sure if I put in, so the sine of 270 should equal, yeah, it's not 100% accurate once you go past the 180. So don't go past the 180. That's the only uh, constraint. But sine of 180 is zero. Uh, let's go to sine of 150. So we can get, this one should give us another 0.5, I believe. Yes, there you go, 0 0.5. And it's positive. Uh, if you're familiar with what sine is when it's positive and negative, um, the bot top half of the circle is all positive numbers. The bottom half of the circle is all negative numbers. So I'll put in the sine of negative 150 and it will give us negative 0.5, just like that. Um, it does a special thing for if your number's negative to make the numbers work with the equation, which I'll go over eventually. So now we're getting into the kind of longer part. This is the equation. So this is the equation I used is 4rx times 180 minus x divided by 40,500 minus x times 180 minus x. Okay, so it sounds a little complicated, but it's actually not too bad. Uh, it's all just basic multiplication. Uh, the r is your radius that you want to use. I just set my r to 1 for, uh, for this equation, but you can change the r, but the um, you can't change it in the actual thing. So this is just the basic sine function. If you wanted to add an r, you would just multiply your answer by whatever you want for the radius. Um, but radius isn't really important because you can do it later. So it's fine. You can just use this answer and you can do it later. So kind of ignore the r. Um, so this, uh, you could make it, it also simplifies to just x times 180 minus x over some small 100 and 125 and minus one fourth x. It can simplify, but it looks, it's a lot easier to do this way. The actual Minecraft function, like the things I'm using to multiply this in Minecraft, I have the sheet here. Um, the Minecraft version does 10,000 times the x times 180 minus x. So you'll see that happen a lot. Divided by 101, 1,012,500 minus 25 times x times 180 minus x. So I'm basically multiplying the top and bottom by 10,000. Uh, well, the top by 10,000 and the bottom by, I think just 100 uh, in terms of what's physically happening with the numbers at the end, just so that there can be a difference of a thousand. Therefore the top will give you three digits. So now let's talk about how it works. So it's not actually doing it in here. Check this out. I am using the function. I'm swag guys. I'm new. Look at this slash function trig colon sign. Boom. Got my one. Set my sign to 45 colon trig sign 0. 0.705. Yeah, I'm pretty swag, dude. I'm up to date. Set my sign to negative 45 and do the function and boom. I just do it here because it's easier because all I have to do is click it. So let's go through what's happening numerically and with something easy like 90. So first off, what it's doing is it's setting, there's a couple scoreboards that it uses. There's something called R, uh, scoreboard objectives list. Let me just get this clear. Something called R, the one I'm using for this is R. I'm using what do you need minus X. I'm using sine and I'm using sine den, which is just short for sine denominator. I needed one extra thing to store it on. Uh, probably a simpler way to do it. I don't guarantee I'm the best, but a pretty good way to do it. Only 14 commands. So the first thing you do is you set the player's R score to the uh, one, sorry, 100,000, not 10,000, 100,000. You set the R score to 100,000 and you, oh, the, we'll skip over this one for now. So you set their score to 100,000. Then you set their 100 minus X to 180. So you're kind of prepping the 180 minus X to be like a number that we're going to use a couple times because it shows up in two separate places. That's why I set a separate variable for it. So then I did the 180 minus X minus the sign. So we're basically having 180 minus 90, which is 90. So 180 minus X scoreboard is now a 90. Okay, so now it's 90. And anytime we talk about it, it's going to be 90. Then we are doing R times equals... 180 minus x, which is essentially going, which is essentially going to make the r, which is 10,000, which is just our multiplier at the top to make it a bigger number, uh, and it's going to make it 
from 100,000 to 9 million, I believe. Some, something like 9 million. So you'll have 9 million at the top. A lot of zeros for the game to mess around with and compute. Then what you're doing is you're multiplying it by the sign, which is just your x again in the equation. You're multiplying it by your x again, which is 90. So now you have like 81 million, okay? Or probably 8, 10 million, something like that. So then what you're doing is you're setting the sign denominator to your 1,012,500, right? Which is the big number that's subtracted in the denominator. So we're just going to set it to that to make it easier uh, so we can use it later. Then, so now we're going to move into messing around with, um, we're going to mess around with the 180 minus X to make it look like the right side in that subtraction symbol right there. We're trying, we're basically setting up the sign, sign denominator is the left side of that and the 180 minus x is going to turn into the right side, and we're just going to do the big number minus 180 minus x, which will be a different number. So 180 minus x, we're going to multiply it by the sign again, just like we did before. And uh, 180 minus x is going to be a new number, which is really big. Uh, well, no, it'll be like 8,100. And then we are going to set sign. We're going to change our sign score just because I needed something else to be this 25 that's in there. So we are going to multiply, set that to 25, and we're going to multiply that 180 minus x by 25, which will give us a really big number. And then we're going to take the sign den, uh, as I said before, which is on the left side of the minus symbol, and we're going to subtract the right side, which is going to be the 180 minus x, and that will give us the denominator. So the sign denominator. Now remember that we were storing all the numerator on r. So then we just do the numerator, which is r divided by the denominator, just like you would with anything, and it will give you your answer. And then at the end, I just say the sign is equal to r. So there's a few command blocks in there even I can see right now that can be polished up, but it's pretty efficient. So essentially you just have one variable that's compiling all in the top and one variable that's compiling all in the bottom, and you have a third variable, which is the 180 minus x, which is used inter in the top and the bottom to kind of store important numbers. Uh, and as a result, you click it and you get the 1000, which is pretty cool. Now, in addition, the additional thing you have to add to make sure that if it's a negative 180, because you can't go over 180, and for some instances, you want 360 degrees. So if it's negative, what you do is it tests. This is if your sign is between negative 1 and negative 180, then it will change your R of being 100,000 or to negative 100,000. So then when you go in the top, the top will have a negative number. Um, which is good because then you'll have a negative answer because sign is negative in the bottom half. Um, and then additionally, it will also add 180 to whatever this negative number is to get you back on the correct side of the circle so that the computations work. Because if you do, and if if the 180 minus X ends up being a number bigger than 180, it I've tried it and it really doesn't work. If, if it's 180 minus negative 10, it'll give you 190. 190 doesn't work. As you can see, if we do sine of 190, uh, well, let's do something we can work with. So let's pretend we did sine of, uh, let's see, something that makes sense. Oh, well, we can already have the example. Sine of negative 90, check this out. Boom, negative 1. But if sine of 270 is the same as sine of negative 90, as you see, they're on the same place, but sine of 270 does not give me the right thing. It gives me 1.151, which is not close enough uh, for this approximation. And if you check other ones that are more complicated numbers that I'd have to show you with a calculator, uh, you'll see that they're way off. So you need the negative numbers to be the right one. And this isn't even a negative number. It gives me a positive number. So clearly we need to fix something for negative numbers, which this one will do it. So anyway, so that's all the differences. You're adding 180 to it, so it's on the correct side. So after going through all the computations, it will basically give you your uh, the number that you would have gotten if it was positive multiplied by negative 100,000, which will be a negative number because negative times positive is a negative. I don't know if I needed to say that. Um, also, something else cool to notice, you can kind of get a random number if you just keep making this function over and over, but I think I'll create a random, well, somebody already has a random number function uh, that you can use, so I wouldn't use this. Um, but hey, it's a shorter with no entities random number function, essentially. I mean, it's not random, you can predict it, but it looks fairly random, and I'm getting a different number every time between negative 1,000 and positive 1,000, so hey, it's close enough to random, kind of.
Oh, wait, never mind. When you get to a certain number, it's zero all the time. <laughs> that was a side note. I'm sorry, guys, this video was kind of long. I'm going to finish it up there. Hopefully, the graphics help explain things. I haven't quite made them yet. Um, next up, I'll do an easier tutorial on how to, um, how to do scoreboards and counting players and something more for mini games that you guys can make. Um, so if you did make it to the end, I congratulate you. It was long and complicated. If you fast-forwarded, you cheated. And I still congratulate you for making it to the end. If you like these kind of complex new videos, uh, leave a like. I'm trying to make a bigger array of things that I'm doing uh, from complex videos to little funny videos. Uh, so a like would really be appreciated. I'm not asking for it at all. Totally not. Wink, wink, hint, hint. Um, if you're not already, consider subscribing. Uh, I make a lot of map making videos and I make a lot of tutorials and I make a lot of other videos that are just for fun, like animation things that are terrible animations. Anyway. Guys, thanks for watching. I will be back with cosine and tangent once I find an approximate equation for them. And I'll be back with get theta and get phi once I figure out a couple issues with negative things. I think it's just glitch with the snapshot. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you all later.